this is Izzy from Minerva. In today's video, we are going to start a mini series of pattern drafting videos. So in this series, I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to draw out and draft your very own skirt block. If this will be um, to your body dimensions and will be completely bespoke to your shape. In the series, we're going to talk you through how to draw the basic block, how to sew it up accurately, and then how to make changes based on um, how it fits your actual body shape. And then following that, once we've got the shape of the skirt that fits you really nicely, we're then going to talk you through a whole series of different ways that you can adapt that skirt block to make a whole range of different styles. So the world is your oyster at that point and I hope you have loads of fun. So this is the very first one that we're doing. So let's get into it and talk about what you need to be able to um, follow along with this pattern drafting series. So there are a number of different tools and supplies that you can find on our Minerva website um, and these are sort of the range of things that I'll be using in the video so if you're interested in purchasing some of them um, do that before you start the video. Um, the first thing is we I will find a cutting mat and really helpful um, because we like to have our, our fabric really flat and cut it flat so it's as accurate as possible. You'll also need some calico and this will be the fabric that you'll use to sew up your skirt block to check the fit. Um, we also recommend some tracing paper so that you can actually draw out your body block on the tracing paper. Pencil and a ruler to do that, to actually draw. Um, and then also you find it really helpful to have a drafting ruler. And uh, These rulers are great because um, they've got the right angles and they've also got a nice curve and you can see all the dimensions. This one's in centimetres, um, which is great. And it's also got the seam allowance marked on here with the red dotted line. Um, so that makes it really easy to add your seam allowance as you are drawing drafting your um, block. In addition to that, you've got a range of either um, a rotary cutter so that you can cut on your mat and keep everything really nice and flat. I'll be using that. Also a pair of fabric scissors if you prefer that. You'll definitely need a tape measure in order to um, do your body measurements accurately. Some pins and then these two um, are really helpful. So the first one is the dressmaker's carbon paper. This basically transfers any markings that you have um, on your pattern block onto the fabric and we'll transfer that using our tracing wheel. In addition to all of that, obviously you're gonna need your trusty sewing machine as well. In this tutorial, we've chosen to demonstrate um, the process of drafting out a skirt using your natural waist rather than your low waist. And this is simply because it allows you to create a wider variety of skirt options. In this pattern drafting series, we're also going to be talking a lot about ease. So this is um, the space between the garment and your body, which allows your body to sort of shift around and move. Imagine standing up and sitting down. Your body dimensions might be slightly different, standing up to sitting down. And um, so that ease um, is something that we're going to refer to quite a lot. And that is the distance between the garment and your body. In this video tutorial, we're also going to be using centimetres rather than inches. Um, and that is simply because we need to pick one unit and that's what we're going to go with. Okay, so to start off with, our very first thing we need to do is to start taking our body measurements. So I'll talk you through that now. Okay, so we're going to start to measure our body. We're going to do four measurements for the skirt pattern block. We're going to do our hips, our waist, and then our waist to hips and waist to knee. Okay, so we'll start off with our hip measurement. We are going to be using centimetres during this whole series, so um, please do take your body measurements using centimetres as you'll find that easier as we progress through the series. Okay, so our hip measurement is um, not where our hip bones are, it's actually lower than that, and it's the widest part around our body um, at this point, and that's simply because if you're making a garment, it obviously needs to fit over your widest bit, which is down here. Um, so your hip measurement is usually taken um, at the bottom of where your zip of your trousers is or where your jeans is somewhere around there. Now everybody has a different body shape so yours might be a little bit higher, might be a bit lower, um, but just find the broadest bit around that whole circumference of your body at that point. Now for the sake of this video, and you will also find this helpful at home, you can get um, just a loop of elastic and just pop it on so it goes over your head and over your hips. And this is going to act as a little marker for where your hip measurement has been taken. Wrap the tape measure around that widest bit where that marking of that elastic is. Just check that's running straight all the way around. And then check that you can run two fingers around that point there. 
take that measurement and write it down. Once you've done your hip measurements and got that right, we're going to do our waist measurement. So I'd grab another piece of round elastic and pop that over your head and let's find your waist. So our waist is um, often higher than where you think it is on your body. It's um, exactly where the kink of your body is or the bend of your body is when you bend to one side. There's a, like a natural break in your body just underneath your rib cage at that point, in between your rib and your hips, which are way down here, but it's higher up than you think it might be. So bend to both sides until you can feel where that natural um, bend is at that point. Do that a few times to make sure you feel comfortable, get that right, and then put that piece of elastic around that area. So just fit it into the same place. So grab your tape measure and pop that around your body, following that line of where the elastic is. Breathe in. Hand out and just let that um, elastic work with the breathing so it's not pulling on you as you breathe. Okay, and then make sure that you can fit two fingers around that in between your body and the tape measure. Take that measurement and write it down. Right, now the reason that we've done these two bits of elastic here and here is so that we can do our next dimension, which is our waist to our hips. So grab your tape measure and what we want to do is to get a straight line from our waist to our hips. We don't want to be curving around and adding extra um, length through the curve. We just want a nice straight measurement. So standing up nice and straight, tape measure where your waist is, tape measure to where your hips is, hips are, hip line is. And that is coming out that for me. Okay, so make a note of that, pop it down. And then our final measurement that we want to take is waist to knee because we're working on a skirt and um, a block today. So again, we're going to do a nice straight line. Just let the tape measure sort of drop down. And at this point, you may need a hand from someone to be able to take that measurement and get that straight down to your knee. Okay. And once you've got that measurement, write it down. Okay, great. So we've done all of our body um, measurements. That's fantastic. We're going to start drafting now. So when we draw up a pattern block, we only ever draw um, one half of the front. So imagine you've got a line like down the center of your body. So that half, we're only gonna draw one half because obviously it's then reflected onto the other side. And the same with the back, we're only going to draw one half of the back. So the pattern pieces will have something which is called a center front line, which is this one, and a center back line. And that's um, where you're going to mirror your pattern pieces if you were creating an actual pattern piece. But there's absolutely no point in spending loads of time drawing up the same thing when you can just reflect it and flip it later on. So we're going to get out a large piece of paper. The piece of paper's width needs to be as wide as um, half of your hips plus 1.5 centimetres minimum and the length of the sheet of paper needs to be at least as long as your measurement of your waist to your knee. Everyone will obviously have a different size piece of paper depending on your body dimensions um, as these are all bespoke. Now, for you, you may find it easier to use dot and cross paper or the hemline squared dressmaker's paper because that will ensure that as you're drawing up your pattern, you're getting right angles and everything is all really beautifully drawn. However, for the purpose of this demo and for the video, um, I'm just going to use plain white paper so that you can really clearly see where my lines are. Um, I'm going to use a red dashed line for drafting lines and a thick pen for the actual skirt lines. Um, however, I would thoroughly recommend that you just use a pencil to draw all of your lines so that then you can rub out the ones that you um, don't need later on. Okay, so we've got all of our tools. Well, let's go. To start off with, just make sure you've got a note of your own bespoke body measurements. Those are the ones that we took earlier, which is our waist, hips, waist to hip, and waist to knee measurements. Just make sure you've got this clearly written down somewhere because throughout this whole drafting exercise, we're going to be referring to those regularly. The first line that we're going to draw along here is half of our hip measurement plus 1.5 centimeters. Find your hip measurement, tap it in, to the calculator, divide that by two, and then add 1.5. So whatever your measurement is, that is the length of this line here. 
make sure that as you get to the end of the line you're just getting that really accurate. This effectively now becomes our waistline and our knee line is going to be down at the bottom of the skirt, the bottom of the page down here. We're now going to draw the waist to knee measurement down this length of paper. You've got that here, it's a nice easy one, so make sure you're using your measurement and we're just going to draw a line which is as long as our waist to knee. Once you reach that point, we're then just going to square across to the other side here. This line that we're going to draw is going to be the exact same length of that line. And then we're just going to join a line from here to here so we've got a nice rectangle. And the length of that line will be the same as this one. Our next measurement is really easy. It's just going to be our waist to hip measurement. So you've got that here. So whatever yours is, just mark that off now. And this is just a reference line. So I'm just gonna dash this one on. At this point, it might be really helpful just to mark on what some of these lines mean. Okay, so at the top up here, this line is our waist line. This is our hip line. And this is our knee line. We're now going to use this sheet of paper to draft out our two skirt pieces. So our front is going to be drawn over here and our back is going to be drawn over here. So we'll start off with the back of our skirt. The first measurement that we're going to do is along the hip line here. And I just want you to mark a point along this line, which is a quarter of your hip measurement plus 1.5 centimetres. So your hip measurement divided by four plus 1.5 centimetres. So whatever that is, make a note of that. Mark that point along the line. And then just square down. Our next reference line is going to be along the waistline. So find out what a quarter of your waist circumference is and then add four centimetres. Once you've got that point there, I just want you to square up by 1.25 centimetres. Mark a little point there. Then we're just going to do a straight line from that point that we just marked to this line here. This is just a guideline. So again, I'm just gonna dash this one out. But you can draw a straight line using your pencil. Then I want you to join this line down to this one here, just using a straight line. Again, this is just a reference line. So I'm just gonna dash that one. At this point, we're now going to mark in the darts which are gonna go along the, the back of the waistband coming down this way. Now these are just estimated darts um, and we'll draw these in to start off with and then when we fit the skirt later on, um, we'll adjust those to be completely bespoke. So the first thing to do is just to measure this new line here that we've drawn from here up to the edge of the skirt. Measure that and then just divide that line by three, making note of where those lines will be. So we've now divided this line into three and we're just going to square down from that line. So the first one we're going to do is this one and we're going to draw a line that is 14 centimetres long. This will be the centre of our dart. Then we're going to draw a line down here for our second dart and this will be 13 centimetres long in total. We're now going to construct those darts. They're going to be two centimetres wide in total, each of them. So mark one centimetre off each centre dart. And then just draw that line connecting that one centimetre offset down to the point. This one was 14 centimetres down to the bottom. So you've got a nice V shape. And the same on this side here. Repeat that process for this dart. We've got the beginnings of the back of our skirt at this point. You can see the darts are here, but currently we've just got a straight line along the waist. And we just want to curve that line slightly so that it 
it follows a nice gentle curve. So use your pattern drafting ruler just to find a really nice curve. Doesn't want to be too exaggerated, just trying to join this line up with that one. Draw that line in, just avoiding drawing over where the darts are. We're then going to do the same here, just to draw a nice curve between our hip line and our waistline, but we don't want the curve to be too exaggerated, so we don't want it sort of sticking out loads. Um, we just want it to be 0.5 centimetres away from our straight line as a maximum. So just mark where 0.5 is off that line. It's not very much actually, is it? <laughs> and then um, just find out where that curve is now. Perfect. So this is the back of your skirt piece drawn in. Let's add a few more notes to the pattern piece so that we don't forget what's what when we come back to it later. So this is skirt back. And this line here is actually our center back line. So if you imagine there's a line splitting your body in half and from head to toe, this would be the center of your back line here. So we'll just call that CB for center back. So we've finished drafting out our skirt back piece with our waist at the top and two lovely darts. That's our centre back and that is our side seam with our hip line here. And then we've just drawn a straight line down to our knee at this point. So our skirt length is from waist to knee. We're now moving on from the skirt back to the skirt front. And this will be drafted out using a very similar method to how we've done this one. We're just going to end up with one single dart though rather than have two like we've got at the back. So the first measurement that we're going to do is along the waistline. This is going to be a quarter of the natural waist plus 2.5 centimetres. So tap into your calculator your waist measurement, divide that by four and then add 2.5 centimetres. Mark a point along this line which corresponds with that calculation you've just done. We're then going to mark a point from there up by 1.25 centimetres. And then we're going to join that point to the centre front line here, just using a straight line. And from here down to our hip line. Make sure you're drawing as accurately as you can. We're then going to measure the length of this dotted line that we've done here. So for everyone that will be bespoke to your body measurements. Once you've got that measurement, tap it into your calculator and then divide it by three. And mark off what that distance is. We're then going to square down from that line just 12 centimetres this time. And our dart width at this point, instead of being two centimetres like it was for the skirt back, it's actually going to be 2.5 centimetres wide in total, which means that you're going to have 1.25 offset from one side of the centre and another 1.25 from the other side. So mark those points and then just complete that V of the dart by drawing the line from that point down to the bottom of the dart line here and the same for the other side. The only thing left for us to do now is just to draw in the curve of our hip line here and the curve of our waistline, similar to how we did the back. So we're going to offset the hip line a maximum of half a centimetre, so just mark that on. And then find an appropriate sort of curve on your ruler. and the same for your waistline. Just joining that up with this line here and avoiding the dart. At this point again, I'd recommend just adding some annotations to this. So this is our skirt front. And this line here is actually our center front line. So you can just put a C and an F for center front. 
Well done for creating your skirt block with me. So we've got everything all drawn out on paper, which is fantastic. And in the next video, I'll show you how to um, transfer all those pattern markings onto some calico fabric, how to cut it out accurately, sew it accurately. And, and then we'll look at getting the fit perfect. Okay, so well done for finishing this video. I hope you've really enjoyed it. As ever, do pop your comments um, below the video. We always love to hear those at Minerva.